Hey everyone and welcome to Photoshop Pro Help and today I'm going to teach you how to make this really cool moon for your sci-fi pictures. Now it's pretty simple but there is quite a few steps involved. Now first things first is you need to find a texture that suits your picture. Now don't forget this is going to be the texture for the surface of the moon so you need to get it just right. Now if you can't find one on the internet you can download the one I'm going to be using and you can download that from the description bar that leads you to my website which leads you to the source folder. So download that. Now once you have it loaded into Photoshop we can start work. Now if you don't know how to load images into Photoshop it's pretty simple just go over to file press open and you can find your image or if that doesn't work for you for whatever reason you can go and drag and drop the image into Photoshop so now that we have it all loaded in Photoshop we can go over to the elliptical marquee tool now it can be hiding underneath the rectangle marquee hold your click on it and you'll find this little drop down panel and click elliptical marquee tool you want to hold down shift on your keyboard and we're just going to drag out now what this enables us to make is a perfect circle from here we're going to go over and hit Control and J and what that does is makes a duplicate of our selection on a new layer and we're just going to go over to the layer panel and just click this little eye next to the one that says background and that hides that so all we've got showing is layer 1 now from here we're just going to go over to the bottom right hand side and click the new layer icon now you can just double click that twice or once sorry so you want two of these now from here we're going to go over and press control on our keyboard and click the thumbnail of layer 1 so now we have the circle the sphere selected we're going to go over and make sure our default color is set to black and we're going to go over to the paint bucket tool make sure that you've got layer 3 selected and then just click inside the circle and we'll get one black circle on there and then we're just going to go over and do the same to layer 2 so click on that and we've got another black circle in layer 2 so now that we've done that we can bring layer 3 just underneath layer 2 sorry layer 1 so now we've got one black circle above layer 1 and one below layer 1 so once you've done that we're going to go over and select layer 1 and we're going to go up to filter we're going to go over to distort and we're going to go and press sphere theorize sorry can't say that word properly so please forgive me so once you've done that we're going to go over and put the amount to 100% and we want to push the uh, mode to normal and then click OK now from here we're going to go over to layer 2 and then we're just going to change the fill all the way down to 0 and we want to press Control and D to deselect that from here we're going to go and make a new blank layer so just press uh, on layer 3 make a new blank layer and we're going to bring that new layer just down underneath layer 3 and we're going to go and press the paint bucket tool and make sure you've got black default and then click on the image and you'll get a black background from here we're going to go up to layer 2 double click it and you bring up the layer style now from here uh, you want to play around with the settings so I'm just going to give you some general settings but depending on your image at the time you can really play around with them and get it really dynamic so we're going to go over and press inner shadow now you want it to put blending mode to linear light and we're going to change the color to white now I, I would suggest that you keep it to white on this but you can play around with the colors depending on your color theme of the picture so from here we're going to put the size up to 75 and then we're going to go on to outer glow we're going to change that to linear light and we're going to put the size up to 75 and we're going to change the color now as I said change the color to anything that you want depending on your color scheme I'm just going to go for a light blue so around somewhere about there so this just about there that should do if you are following me that would be 8DF3EB you can pause the the, uh, the YouTube video and see for yourself so once we've done that click OK 
and we're going to go on to inner glow and we're going to put the blend mode to linear light again put the size up to 75 so we just do that and then we're going to change the color and I'm going to go for just a darker shade of blue or turquoise and then click OK now if the color is too heavy for your picture you can bring the size down so around about there that'll do it for me so around about 8 pixels depending on your taste you can bring it up just a tad and then once you have all of those settings set up right just how you want them we're gonna go over and press OK from here we're gonna go over and make a new blank layer which is on the bottom right hand side we're gonna go over and press control on our keyboard and select the uh, thumbnail of either layer 1, 3 or 2 and that selects the circle we're gonna put the paint bucket to press on and then we're just gonna go and change that to black on that layer from here we're gonna go and go to filter we're gonna go to blur and we're gonna go to Gaussian blur now you wanna blur it to around about 50 pixels that should be just enough then go and click OK and we're just going to go up to the move tool on the left hand side at the top and we're just going to move that out to the right now it really depends on your taste and your picture you can uh, make any shadow that you wish it, depending on it, if it's on the left side or the right side it's really up to you so I'm just going to have it on the right side here so you can have the shadow as big as you want we're just going to bring down the opacity just a little bit so around about 93 should be okay but you can really play around with it and we're just going to drag that layer 5 just underneath layer 2 and you'll get the ring around and we're just going to press Control and D to deselect that now from here what we're going to go and do is we're going to go over to layer 2 make a new blank layer and we're going to hold down control and we're just going to hold and click on layer 2 and that selects both from here we're going to go over to select control and E and what that does is it merges it down and it holds all the layers into one so from here we're going to go over to the eraser tool and we're just going to go and select layer 6 and we're just going to go and erase the glow just on the shadow because we don't really need it on the shadow so around about there I should do it so so we've all got, got all that ready now once you have done that um, the next steps are pretty simple all we have to do is go to layer 1 and we're just going to duplicate that so control and J to duplicate it and we're going to change the blending mode to overlay if we can just get that and we're going to press Control and T to free transform and we're just going to go to the side, the edge and we're just going to turn it round so it, mix, it mixes all the uh, bumps up so it really does look like there's craters in the moon from here we're going to go and select the tick icon and you can do this again or do this as many times as you want so you can press Control and J again and that duplicates it press Control and T to free transform and then we're going to go and change the direction and now once you have all of that completed and you are happy with it we're going to go and click the tick icon again and that's pretty much it that's uh, that's really all that you need to do now you as I said you can change the colors of the glow depending on your picture now I've just done this really fast and um, you're going to have a lot more time to uh, perfect it so but if you do want to change the color of it of the moon itself like I have done in the other picture you can just go over to layer 1 and then all we're going to do is press control and U and that brings up the hue and saturation we're going to press colorize and that changes the color to whatever we want but as I said we changed uh, the outer glow and everything to our color scheme so you want to change it to around about whatever that fits so around about there that'll do round about there and then we're just going to go and click OK 
and that's pretty much it there is your brand new uh, moon for your picture and you can change the colors to suit whatever uh, picture that you have and you can even put it into something like this so that makes it really nice and neat and it suits it well so please have fun with this go and put your own mark on it change it up you can put different blending modes on the other layers as I just showed you and um, that's pretty much it so I'll see you uh, in my other videos please subscribe comment and rate this video and I'll see you next time guys bye for now